All right, the answer choice vocab words are getting a little harder, but let's dive in, see what we can get from this passage. During this uh, archaeological dig in Spain, this person and his team uncovered the skeleton of a woman from El Algar, an early Bronze Age society, buried with valuable objects, signaling a high position of power. Okay, so uh, a powerful... Um, woman. This finding may persuade researchers who have argued that Bronze Age societies were ruled by men to something that women may have also held leadership roles. So uh, admit, it's something like admit, right? They, they are previously arguing that men are in charge, but now we have a powerful woman. So this goes against that belief. So they're kind of like acknowledging that they might have been wrong. And sure enough, that's exactly what concede means. So that's definitely the right answer here. Uh, to wave also kind of means something like uh, give up or give in, uh, but we talk about that maybe in terms of like a, a, a right, right? You waive your right by saying, like by signing usually a waiver, right? If you go on some like dangerous ride or something or whitewater rafting, you sign away your rights, you sign a waiver saying that you won't sue in the event that you drown and something horrible happens. Um, so that doesn't really fit here though. You don't waive an argument. It doesn't really fit. So it's, it's maybe the same definition in a very kind of like literal sense, but words can have similar definitions but not be used interchangeably. And this would not make sense here. Refute is way too strong. Uh, they're not refuting that women may have also held uh, leadership roles. Refute means to prove it wrong. So we're not proving that wrong. The point is that they're saying it might be right, right? That women might have had those, those powerful roles. So it's kind of the opposite of what we're trying to say. And require doesn't make any sense here. Um, it's not required that they do, it's just a theory. So I don't know what sense that would make. So concede, that's a good word to know, good SAT word, it means to kind of give in, as in like you give in that maybe you concede an argument, you concede that your point might be wrong. So it's a good thing to see because a lot of, or a good thing to memorize because a lot of these passages have to do with people arguing about things. So it's a word we're likely to see again.